So in this case, what we want to do is we need to to find this angle, we want to uh, we want to find the angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the magnitude. Or I'm sorry, we need to apply the dot product, and then determine the magnitudes. All right. So to kind of keep this going a little bit, since we've already done the magnitude, um, I will break down the dot product a little bit for you. But the magnitudes, I'm going to kind of do in my head. I'll say I'll talk my way through it, but I'm going to try to keep this a little bit uh, moving along since we have to go. So the dot product again, all you need to do is multiply. So I'll multiply two times six plus negative 1 times 4. right? You multiply your first two terms of your vectors, add them to the multiplication of the second two. Then divide it by the magnitude of u. Remember, the magnitude of u is 2 squared, which is 4, plus negative 1 squared, which is 1. So that'd be square root of 5 um, times the magnitude of v, which is 6 squared, which is 36, plus 4 squared, which is 16. So that's going to be 52. We can simplify up top. 12 plus negative 4 is going to be 8. Now, you could multiply the square root of 5 times the square root of 52. But remember, guys, this equals cosine of theta, right? So to figure out actually theta, I'm going to do cosine inverse of 8 over square root of 5, square root of 52. So yeah, you can multiply it out and figure that out. But why do that when you can use Cayley's calculator to figure out the answer on your own? So all I simply do is just take the square root of 5 and multiply it by the square root of 52. And I take 8 and divide it by that answer. Eight divided by that answer, and then I take the inverse cosine of that answer, and I'd get 60.255. So therefore, I can say theta equals 60.255. So we'll do that to 2, 6. And that's obviously in degrees. OK? And that's it. That's all you guys had to do. Isn't that cool?